Kathy, welcome to Think NP's five tips in 10 minutes. And what I'd like you to do is just give us the top five points that you think somebody who's consulting to nonprofits ought to be doing. So what's number one? Well, I never go to a meeting without an agenda, Matt. Oh, excellent. Yeah, if yeah. it's not my meeting, I'm not in charge. <laughs> right. I have an agenda because I've thought through what needs to happen in order to move the project or the person forward. And I've um, known you for a while and I always knew you had an agenda. I no. <laughs> in the nicest possible way. Right, of course. I have my list of things that I think we should make sure we cover mm -hmm. um, and I let them take the lead when it's their meeting, but I right. make sure that I am checking in with my pre-planning basically for the meetings so yeah. that I know we're getting things done. Because I find sometimes I go to meetings and nobody has an agenda. And they drift. And exactly. Yeah. It's not productive. I don't enjoy it. Um, it's my time as well as theirs that I'm trying to make it as productive as possible. Excellent. Excellent. So what's the next point then? Um, well, I, I have a big focus on deadlines. I don't miss ah. deadlines. Um, okay. I know there are there's sometimes chaos in the nonprofit sector. My clients are missing deadlines and they're not following through. but. The consultant, I feel, has to always, you know, do what you promise to do when you promise. Now, to what do if it. they don't give you a deadline? Say, eh, just get it done whenever you can. Yeah, no, I I create a deadline then. Okay. I tell them what it is. Right. I track it. I think it's extremely important to have a really good tracking system, mm -hmm. so that I am um, always sure of what I've said I was going to do and when I said I was going to do it. Right. Um, like I said, there's some dysfunction in the sector, and I don't want to be part of that. I want to be right. the person who comes in to try to help it. So I don't need anybody, you know, checking up on my deadlines. I want to be the one who's always delivering um, as a consultant. I feel like they deserve that. Yeah, being on time. That's huge. Uh -huh. So then uh, what's number three? What's the next one? You um, Well, I like to stay on point in meetings. I, I think um, I know that it's important to chat at the beginning of a meeting to make people feel comfortable to work on the relationship. Mm -hmm. But I'm always aware, especially for my clients who are more small, mid-sized nonprofits, that they're on a shoestring. Right. And they're paying me for my time. I know they're aware of it. So I try to move to the point of the meeting as quickly as possible so that they know that I'm managing the time as well as I can to right. try to limit how much they're in for when they spend time with me. I think it's challenging sometimes. You want to talk, you want to show your expertise. Well, you are a nice person and people like to interact with That's you. That's right. But if I'm charging them for the time, I try right. to keep it to a minimum and, and stay on point. Okay. That's yeah. great. And uh, what else is on your list there? Well, I, I think it's really important to connect to resources. Almost from the ah. beginning of my consultancy, I, I made connections to um, organizations like Board Source okay. and PANO, the Pennsylvania Association of Nonprofit Organizations, okay. Association of Fundraising Professionals, places where I could get good information from experts that would be helpful to me as I tried to help my clients meet new challenges. So you mean you don't know everything? I don't. <laughs> right. Sometimes I do now. I've right. checked everything out at these other places. And yeah. um, being a resource for them by bringing these other um, respected resources, best practices is an important thing. Um, and I imagine that adds credibility to your work because you absolutely. now not only have these best practices you bring to the table, but they mm -hmm. know that you know where to get stuff. Exactly. And they're happy to know about these organizations. They don't always know that mm. Board Source exists, that it carries all this wonderful material. Yeah, that's kind of in our bubble, mm -hmm. but not theirs. Yeah. And you have to remember that. Yeah. So I tell them about it. And I tell them what I've gotten from them before and what might be helpful. Um, sure. And these resources help me learn so that okay. I deliver more value, but then they really help my clients at different times as well. Excellent. And so what's your last point? Point number five. Uh, well, it's all about credibility in this business. Ah. And so um, I, I almost never do marketing. Okay. I get word of mouth referrals, but when, whenever somebody is looking at me as a potential consultant, they go to my website. I've heard that over and over again. Sure. Well, you don't exist without a website. It's the number one source of your credibility. Yep. So I really think it's important to put information on the website that's, you know, in your voice, the way you write, the, yep. the problems you help to solve, to get client testimonials, to get other resources that you have used and found helpful. So that when somebody is checking out your website, 
they're aware that you add value in a lot of different ways right. and that, that hopefully they would like to work with you. Yeah, um, yeah. your so, personality comes out then in that. Yeah, if you do it right, um, you know, and, and that's not just what you write, it's also the images on there, the style of the website. Mm -hmm. It all builds your credibility and I find that um, helps tremendously for me when people are looking at me as a potential client. They they find that information and they almost always refer to it and tell me that they Excellent. enjoyed it and they got something out of now, it. Now, did you build that by yourself? Well, I, I hired somebody to work with me on it, a design ah, professional, okay. and right. um, it was somebody who knew me well, which right. was great. She helped with the logo, she helped with the design, um, created the idea for the um, information that goes across the top of the website. Oh, sure. It's very personalized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my hand in the picture, Mad. Oh, know, it really is website. your hand in the picture. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll, I'll look for that, that. now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so it's all um, about being you, being authentic, being credible for your for your clients and potential clients. That's great. Hey, mm -hmm. Kathy, thank you so much for five really good tips, great tips yes. in this five minutes that we, or excuse me, 10 minutes that we had. Five tips, 10 minutes. And uh, for everybody listening, uh, uh, what is your website address? It's www.spark.com npc.com sparknpc.com nonprofit mm -hmm. consulting correct there you go all right we've had kathy beverage from spark nonprofit consulting and uh, this has been your think np five tips in 10 minutes